right, here is the video review for Leader Class Galvatron from the Kingdom line. Uh, I was I was looking for him. I was actually looking for a couple different things, and uh, Skip uh, at Skip Collects on Twitter, who's local, sent me a, a text saying that they had two Rhinox and two Galvatrons at a local Target that I could hit on the way home from work the other night. The Rhinoxes were gone when I got there, but that's okay because uh, we'll have another video explaining all of that. But um, but they did still have a Galvatron, and I picked him up. He was the unfixed shoulder version, but I did the fix, and it's actually not... It's scary, but not as scary as I was worried it was going to be. Um, there are other people who have done really good tutorials. Uh, so uh, Cam, uh, Cam Hacks, I believe. Um, I'll, I'll get the link, and I'll put that down there to a, a really good tutorial about... Um, about how to fix it because I've, there, there are some really good videos showing you how to do it. It seems scary, but there's a lot more flex in those arms than you think. And I actually did it without causing any damage to the figure. Anyway, here he is. He's a space cannon mode and he's covered with uh, all of the, the jizunk as the kids say these days. The kids don't actually say that these days, but you know. Um, he's got these, these cannons that also form or are modeled after the Revenge, the ship he got from Unicron. In the thing, and they can also peg together. They can store on his back in robot mode, and they can also peg together to form this kind of weird blaster, which, I don't know. I was under the impression, it made it, made, it, made it sound like very early on that this was going to be a revenge that could function as a cannon for him, but would also be able to plug into uh, the stand that came with Unicron and uh, be displayed with the uh, big war for Cybertron Unicron, and that ended up not being the case at all. Like, it doesn't look nearly as good as the Ark, or this, you know, the Autobot shuttle we got. Um, and just kind of there. It's just kind of, uh, this just, just, just kind of feels like a, hey, we had some extra, we had to throw some extra plastic in here to make this worth it. So we did this. Um, it's an interesting concept. It's just, I don't care for it as a gun. I don't really care for it as a ship, and it looks weird. Just stuck onto his cannon mode, so... Your mileage may vary. If you if you enjoy it, hey, great. I'm not knocking it. I, I'm, I'm not knocking your opinion of it. Um, I just don't care for it. It's just it's just extra pieces. But we'll set that off to the side for the time being. Um, he also has the Matrix on a chain. A chain is just a, a hard plastic. Well, yeah, it's actually a harder plastic than you'd think. Uh, molded chain, solid one piece. It doesn't rope. It doesn't flop or floop around. It does plug into his chest here. Uh, so you can have it attached to his cannon mode again for storage purposes. I guess that's nice, but uh, it's a little weird. But it's just a hard little plastic chain. You can put it over Galvatron's head, or I guess really any robot's head. The Matrix is, in fact, the same Matrix we've been getting. It does come off. It just pegs on there. So if you didn't have a Matrix from Hot Rod or Optimus or, Hot, or Rodimus Prime or where else did we get one? I don't know. We've been getting a lot of these same little Matrixes. Here's another one with Galvatron, and it plugs onto this chain. But the meat of the review, how does he transform? Well, here's his base cannon mode. And th these treads actually will, there actually is a, a place that, uh, a, an angle that where they will snap on uh, and lock into place on, the, on these forearm pieces. But in order to sit flat, then they sit really wide, and it just seems... It just seems almost too wide from the front. Maybe I'm wrong. Actually, maybe that's not too bad. But it just to get those to sit flat with everything else, it just feel. I, I feel like I, I like the cannon. Look, if it looks a little better, you can kind of untap it, and it'll support itself with these raised a little bit up, and uh, these rotated. So he's kind of sitting back here with the cannon kind of angle slightly up. But that's entirely up to you. Uh, you have that. You can do it however you want. But the instructions would have you clip these all the way on to the forearms so they're not loose. And then have them sit a little wider than like that. I guess that's not too bad. Maybe I've just been doing it wrong. I, I did not admit that. I did not admit that. I admit nothing. Anyway, but there he is. He's got little wheels so he can roll. But your standard, standard Galvatron cannon. <laughs> it's a standard because it's, it's not really any kind of standard cannon. But I guess it's standard for Galvatron. Transforming him, I'll go ahead and take both this piece off and this piece off. Those will combine to form his arm cannon. And you can you can arrange that with either either way you want. Set that off to the side. These panels fold up back here. 
And then you fold these up. These are going to be, you can see his feet already. Uh, go ahead and untab these panels here and then unpeg this. Now, when you're pegging this in, um, this tab goes into here and it's, it's more of a guide peg. It doesn't really lack, 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 latch latch into place. Um, there's a, this peg doesn't do anything uh, for this mode. This is for, to peg it into robot mode. Uh, this is a little black peg here on, on the shoulder piece. It does fit into the thigh, although again, doesn't lock lock everything into place. But this little tab uh, right here, uh, the, purple, the tab right here on the top of this purple piece does slot into the bottom of the abdomen here. And that's what kind of, that's the one piece that really locks this all together. Like this, this piece locks onto the black piece and holds it mostly together, but it's still a little wobbly until you snap that piece into the torso like this. But it, sh it should clip in and hold all, there you go, and hold all that together securely. And have that. So open those up. And go ahead and bring the legs down like that and fold this piece up and kind of around and down. This piece comes up here all the way around. Leave these open for the time being. So that's facing the back and you can see there's a peg inside here that's going to peg into that. But before you do that, you have to get the head out. And this piece tabs very, very securely because here's his chest and his head is folded inside this core. And this piece, you can kind of see there's a gap there, but it, oh, that is the first time I have done that without having to get a spudger. Um, this piece, you can see there's a tab here that tabs into here and then these two tabs latch in. That can be very, very hard to get the leverage to pop out. Like that legitimately, I had my spudger sitting right over here on the side of the, uh, of the table to use because that's the first time I've done that without tools. So, I mean, yay, but just be aware, the first at least the first couple times you do it, if not all the time, you might want to have something non-damaging but flat handy to get in there and pry that apart when you go back to robot mode. Once that's done, though, you can pull the head out and rotate it around. This will kind of come around the body like that, and then this can fold back. I'll get this all the way down here. There we go. Snap that into place. Fold that back into the back there, and then this will plug in to that and lock it all securely together. And then this purple tab that I mentioned earlier is going to come up and peg into the torso. Same over here. Uh, these little panels right here will just, they, they don't peg into anything, but they just kind of fold around. They're on like a little hinge for hip flaps, but then they rotate out for cannon mode. And then snap that all together. This can come loose. You want to make sure that all, like everything in there gets snapped, snapped in, because that can come loose if you don't tab everything together when you move the arms. You just kind of angle these up like that. Unpeg the legs, rotate them forward. He's got some little heels that flip out. I have gotten him to stand without flipping these out, but you've, just a little extra support. And then these purple pieces on the side here, fold around and peg in there on the, uh, on the back of the leg. Like that. This piece comes up. And around. Shouldn't pop off like that. That was weird. That's the first time that's happened, too. Um, come on. Go back on. There we go. Does that need to come up first? Um, okay, maybe that needs to come up before you. Wait, did I have that all backwards? No, that's right. Oh, whatever. That can come up and sit behind the head. I guess you can just do it like that, too. But you can... You do it before you plug that in. It can come up and sit right up there. And then unplug the treads and fold them around. There's a hinge here and a hinge here. You can double hinge them back onto the back like that. Untab the arms from this little peg here. It goes up into there. And then flip out his fists. And there he is. And then you take his cannon, put him on. Now, a lot of these are coming with the uh, shoulders assembled. So see how this is smooth up here? Uh, there's no detail. And then underneath, there's some robotic detail. If that robotic detail is on top, you've got the lower shoulders. And so you can fix it. Um, it'll, it'll be like this. It'll have this facing forward, but it'll sit. You can see it sits almost even with the top of this purple, whereas this is up into the black. It's up past the purple. Um, and it looks better with the shoulder up. 
it doesn't look horrible with the shoulder down. And if you get this with the lower shoulders, you can rotate it around, just, just rotate it around like that, like I just did to raise the shoulder up. But if you do it that way, one, you'll have the, uh, you, you will have, uh, the pin facing forward. Some people don't mind that. Um, but you will have to rotate it back around to transform it because this has to peg up into that piece. But um, there is a shoulder fix. It involves a lot of prying. Um, and it's it's a little scary. Again, there are better videos. I'm not going to try to attempt to, to do it. I've already fixed it, so I'm good. But um, there are some good tutorial videos. I'll post a link to at least one down in the video description here um, on how to fix it. But it's, like I said, it's, it looks scary. It feels scary when you're first starting to do it. But I will say the plastic had a lot more give and was a lot more pliable than I was worried about. And I managed to do it without damaging anything. But yeah, there's Galvatron. He's got a cool, not a cool, he's just got a ball joint there at the neck. Um, these can, these can get out of whack, but uh, they're pretty, if you put them in the right position, they're pretty secure. But he's got dual hinge shoulders, uh, bicep swivel dual hinge elbows, uh, actually has a wrist swivel despite those folding in, which is kind of a bit of a surprise. I was happy to see that. Uh, he's got a waist swivel, um, although you do have to kind of get that out of the way um, to get it to work. It's a little limited by the backpack there, but uh, you can do it. Um, and then forward and back, side to side, thigh swivel, regular hinge knees with some cool little detail there inside the knee. He's got ankle tilts, uh, Really no no front to back toe, but he does have that little heel piece that can flip out. Does have the battle damage, uh, but that doesn't bother me as much. I know some people were really really upset by it. I'm not super offended by it. I may take it off, and apparently just some 91% alcohol and a paper towel is enough to uh, to clean it off, according to uh, a couple of posts I've seen on Twitter. Size comparisons, of course, being part of Kingdom. Here he is with Kingdom Cyclonus. And because we're also getting the Studio Series right now, uh, here he is with Scur Studio Series Scourge. So uh, a nice little trio there of movie villains. And they look really good together. I'm, I'm quite happy with them. Again, you got the schmutz on Galvatron, but that can come off. I haven't decided if I'm going to take it off yet. I might. And here he is, again, Studio Series. I don't have R Rodimus Prime yet. There he is with Hot Rod, his eventual nemesis. And I dig it. And then all my Megatrons are packed up in boxes and they didn't dig one out, so. But it's Galvatron. What, that's, that's what he said his name was. So. And of course, a brief comparison. Oh, we're, we'll do the weapon things too. Uh, but here he is with his previous Titan's Return self. Again, one that I uh, modded. I just cut this flippy piece off and glued it to his face. So uh, he constantly has his his face plate on. I don't know why his one leg is being, oh, there we go. It's not standing even, there we go. And the new one, I, I think the new one is far superior. Proportions are a little stumpy on the new one uh, compared to the old one, but you got a better head, you got a less ridiculous size cannon, um, a better alt mode. Just all in all, I think he's generally a better figure than the old Titans Return one. But because we had him sitting around, why not do that comparison? There's rumors there might be a toy color version coming. That would be cool. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing one with purple that matched his movie colors a little better, but, you know, we'll see. Um, oh, but also, yeah, the Matrix, like I said, you can just just kind of sits over his head there and sits on his chest. It doesn't peg in in any way. It, it kind of swings loosely. Um, I feel like that, I think I did something wrong there. Oh, there we go. Just like that. Um, but yeah, it just kind of, it's just kind of there. And again, these cannons right here, you can have him hold it as a gun. You can hold them individually as guns and then it just looks like he's holding the spaceship as a gun. Uh, that looks slightly less so, I guess. And then they also, these tabs here on his back, you can take, uh, you can tab the gun on there. 
And this one, one of them holds really well and one of them doesn't hold all that great. So you kind of have to push them together, but you can store them on his back there for your own purposes, I guess. But honestly, those guns are probably just going to end up sitting in a, a parts bag. But all in all, as Galvatron, it's a really nice Galvatron figure. It has, like, all of, most of my complaints about it are, one, the shoulder fix, if you have to do it. And, and, and you don't have to do it. Um, but if you, if, I mean, like, there is a fixed version apparently out on the shelves. People have been finding them with the fixed shoulders. And if you can get that version, great. Because you don't have to do anything to it. Um, but the figure itself is fine. I, I really like it. It's the, uh, I feel like, if anything, it suffers from... I've got now. I've got all these little bits and pieces that I don't want on them that I have to store somewhere, because the the, the hand cans, the matrix on a chain is neat. I I, pre, I appreciate that they put it in there. Um, I would have rather seen maybe just a a more functional chain without that just went into that hooked into the matrix itself versus having it on this extra piece because that extra piece does make it sit a little awkwardly out from his chest. Uh, visually, both in robot mode and it's a little weird, but you know they had to make it peg into the cannon mode for again, whatever reason they decided to do that. All in all, not it, it, like I said, minor complaints, and it's all about stuff that one doesn't have to be on him, and two is extra bits. Like taking if I take this off and I put these off to the side, it doesn't affect the Galvatronness of this at all. Like I don't, I don't feel like oh no, now it doesn't look like Galvatron, or now I feel bad because I. I had to take off an essential part because I don't like it. It's all extraneous, so bonus points for that. Or at least no negative points for that because they didn't make it have to be on him to function in any mode. Like, these don't serve any, like, significant purpose in alt mode that would you'd want to keep him with his robot mode. Just t chuck him in a bin if you don't like him. Anyway, Galvatron, he's cool. Pick him up. Again, thanks to uh, Skip Collects for uh, the tip on finding him because I don't think I would have gone to that target that day. Also, real quick, I snapped this on backwards uh, when I uh, when I put it back on. It should be able to come all the way down here and plug in like that, and I flipped it around. Um, but you do need to flip that up before you plug that in, so just FYI. <laughs>